There's no question today is one of the most historical moments over the past 10 years for agriculture. Today we're going to have our agricultural commissioner, Hugh Others, who will be in very shortly. we got officials from all over the PD, and I can tell you we have farmers from all over, all different counties that are here today, and when you have a tobacco auction, it brings excitement in the air because it spells profits, it spells money, and what it makes uh, what it makes is those dollar bills, they create jobs and they certainly invest in property and they invest in shoe stores downtown, downtown for families, grocery stores, automobile dealers. And what happens is this, it's history at its best because agriculture, South Carolina, has always led the way in the tobacco sales over the years. Now it's a diverse, diverse uh, agriculture community and I can tell you today as this auction begins, it will have a lot of tears and a lot of eyes just to remember back to fathers and mothers and grandparents and great-grandparents that own tobacco and tobacco allotments. And I can tell you today, we'll make a difference for the average farmer. It will open the door for the future for them to be able to market their tobacco. Everything sometimes becomes a monopoly, but today with this diverse auction, it will open up the prices and give a better price for the farmer. Y'all give us your attention for a minute. I'd um, like to introduce Senator Yancey McGill. He's going to say just a few words, and uh, then we're going to have uh, a couple more gentlemen speak and have open the market with prayer right here in just a minute. Senator McGill. Thank you, Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say what a historical... Bob Johnson, come on down. What a historical moment. Here we are in July 31st, 2013 the only tobacco auction that's going to happen in the state of South Carolina, right here in Lake City, South Carolina, with the Lynch family. And I'm going to tell you, we want to thank that entire family, all of the local farmers that have brought this tobacco in to make a difference in the lives of the quality um, of each individual all over the PD in the state of South Carolina. We would like to ask Mayor Anderson if you'd step up very briefly for Welcome to Lake City. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. First Good morning. of all, it's a great day, and uh, we're happy to have you here in Lake City. I was just telling a few people as I walked up, just a aroma brought back a lot of memories, and I think to, to all of us, but uh, this has always been a cash crop for our area, and we're looking forward to moving in uh, that direction again and, and being prosperous in this community. 
thank you all for coming out and again welcome to the great city of lake city thank you mayor yes, sir all right next we will bring up our commissioner of agriculture hugh uh, weathers he loves lake city he loves the pd and he loves agriculture if it's south carolina grown this is the man that started that marketing and advertising program let's give our commissioner a round of applause I always like that when people people clap for you before you talk. That way they, they're off the hook after you talk. So anyway, but I do appreciate Senator uh, uh, inviting me up. I'm always asked, no matter where I am, well, what's going on with tobacco in South Carolina? So now I'll be able to give them a good report that it's uh, some of the traditions are back with this auction. Right. I, I've been in office nine years, and one of the first things I did nine years ago was go to the last tobacco auction at that time, maybe in Dillon, Atlanta, somewhere. So it's real good to just regain the traditions that are so uh, just synonymous with the PD area. So I'm real tickled to be here today. And you're right, the smells do bring it back. So it's good to be here. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> Let me say a couple of things. There are so many, Bob Johnson used to work with Clemson Extension and so many others that work with the federal agencies that are here today, but also many families. All those families that here today that had tobacco or grew up in tobacco, raise your hand in this crowd. Hold your hands up high. Let's give them a round of applause. And let me, let me just say this to you, that we are delighted that the press is here today, and I'm telling you that because history will be recorded today, and hopefully this will stop a single monopoly that's going on in this country with tobacco where it's a diverse type opening. I can tell you from Virginia, those that, that own tobacco companies, we welcome you. We also would like to ch thank Chuck Easel. Where's Chuck? Right here. Chuck, you know, is a champion, world champion, auctioneer. Listen close to this man this morning. He is a world champion. And I can tell you, he received that title how many years ago? Many moons ago. <laughs> many moons ago. <laughs> But I also want to share with you, we have different counties represented. I saw Frank Brown here a little bit early. Where's Frank? Right here, yeah. Hold your hand up. Frank Brown comes from a big agriculture family. His father's name was Frank Brown, who owned the Carolina Warehouse in King Street. And his grandfather, uh, he was in about every magazine in the country with tobacco uh, for many years. His name was Frank Brown as well in North Carolina. And so there's so many families that have made a living, but so many families that are standing here today that have opened those little shoe stores downtown, that have bought the local uh, vehicles from the auto dealers and have spent that money in grocery stores and have educated their children and created great health care. At this time, we're going to ask Lester Bradham, South Carolina State Representative, retired Baptist minister, to dedicate and open this auction. With that, Lester, if you okay. step up. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, thank you for your love for us, for our good country, our good state, our land, for people who work diligently to produce products. Thank you for the ability we have now to have a market for our product. We pray your blessings upon us. May this time be used to build our friendships. Proceeds from this be used to improve the quality of life of the people who it touches. Thank you for blessing us with your love and your grace and forgiveness. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I was real tickled when Chuck Eastler called and said they were had worked to pull this back together. Uh, you know, you think of the PD of South Carolina, you think of tobacco. Uh, it's great to think of a tobacco auction in 2013. Frankly, I didn't think we'd ever see that again. And it's just a real thrill that they're doing it. Uh, we have the receiving stations, and they're, they're doing a great job, but nothing uh, speaks to tobacco farming and marketing more than a good auction, so I'm real glad to be here today for this. Well, we just started this year. <clears throat> Years past, we were lynching the tobacco around. We sold, sold back at auction. I've done it all my life, really. And we had some tobacco buyers come to us this summer. Just praying and ask us if we would be interested in trying to get an auction sale again. They need the back and they will pay a price for it. We said, well, if you can, if you pay a good price for it, we'll we'll try to get the back for it. And I 
that's the way it started, and now it's up to them to go to the price. <laughs> <laughs> they got to the back, and they got to add the price. Now, tell me about your history a little bit. Where did you come from, and, and how did you get into the business? Uh, I was born in Lake City. I started working in the warehouse when I was nine years old. 1939. My daddy worked as a floor man for the warehouse, and I was, he, he made, made me and my brother turn tickets and tote bills. So that's how I got started in it. We rented the old star warehouse here in Lake City in, in, the, in the early 50s. It, and my brother and myself, we bought it in 1963. It was about a new home warehouse in the next city. We bought it three or four years later. So in 1973, the snowstorm came by and they, were, they tore them down. So we had to build a new one. We built a new one out on Highway 341, which I wasn't a part of after 1990. And I bought this old farmer's warehouse here, named it Lynch's Warehouse, in 1991. I've been here since. So I've been I've been in the back of business all my life. It's one way or the other. If today is successful, what do you do next? What's the next goal? We have another sale next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>
X1, boom. Back from bad enough? Yes, sir. All right. Only crop bad enough. Only crop bad enough. Years will change things. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to have some news. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yep. 96 dollars a bit, 196 dollars a bit, 96 dollars a bit, 96 dollars a bit. I tell you what, put two dollars on. I don't blame you, man. Thank you, sir. Two dollars. 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 I think the auction went very good, very good. Had good support, good strong prices, and had good clean tobacco from our local farmers. So everything was a plus here today. As a world-renowned auctioneer, how important are these sort of auctions? Very important, uh, especially the economic impact, local economic impact, with farmers spending money from your convenience stores to uh, your tractor dealerships to uh, to uh, buying used and uh, new equipment uh, to putting their children in school, buying gas, buying vehicles. Uh, just it just a trickle down effect. It affects everybody. For the people at home, what would be the next step to make something like this more popular? Um, well, uh, more farmers get back into it. A lot of farmers have gotten out of tobacco to uh, pursue other interests, and uh, but that would just help it be more popular with uh, the farmers getting back into the tobacco business. And did you have any tough calls while you were doing this? Yeah, we had a few. Uh, some that was up and down, you know, between grades that uh, the companies wasn't quite sure what they wanted to put on it, but uh, it ended up okay. Excellent. Thanks so much, man. Anything else you want to add? Just uh, be, be sure and uh, try to grow some more. Be here for the next auction.